Okay, so we're now at step seven, which is all to do with the exit. Now, when you get involved with doing bigger deals, it's really important to have multiple exits in place. It also depends on what your investor is looking for as well. So when we first done this land development deal, uh, the idea was we were gonna refinance at the end of the scheme and then um, pay back the investor and then hold the units and then rent them out as multi let or serviced accommodation. Uh, during the scheme, uh, the investor didn't want to hold anymore. So, you know, we, we work with the investor and the investor wanted us to sell the units and the investor wanted to then not lock in the initial investment, but the investor wanted to uh, make uh, some money and pull some money out of the deal. So, um, yeah, having multiple exits is really important. So we are now selling uh, these nine units. So when it comes to the exit, uh, it's really important that you sell the units as quick as you can. So we actually started to sell these off plan. We've now sold seven out of the nine units. Uh, we're using Connells, uh, which is a very good uh, local, uh, well, they're nationwide, uh, but they're based here uh, in Colchester. So we've got a really good relationship with the agent. Um, it's really important that you create uh, really nice uh, brochures that can be used um, to sell to potential uh, buyers. And then it's really important that you are managing uh, the estate agent to make sure uh, they are doing everything they possibly can. Uh, the estate agent we're using, uh, we're paying them 1.5% uh, of the purchase price. Uh, we could have negotiated that down to maybe 1%, but you know we want to create a win-win and we want to make sure that they're going to sell the units as quickly as possible. And then what's really important is to create a show flat or a show home. So I'm currently standing in one of the bedrooms uh, and we do everything to a really high uh, boutique standard. So we're very fortunate that our wonderful personal assistant, Alexis, um, she's actually an interior designer. Uh, so she designed all of this for us. Um, if we didn't have Alexis, then we would go out to, or we would find an interior designer uh, to help us create uh, that very, very special look. So uh, as you can see, this is one of the bedrooms here. Uh, this is the uh, one of the bedrooms for the houses and we'll just walk through here now. Uh, this is the uh, master bedroom and you can see here as well, you know, it looks really nice. It's all been done to uh, a really, really nice standard. Uh, and then of course, um, other things that are gonna help you exit is we're using what's called Help to Buy, uh, which is a government scheme, which is helping uh, you know people get their first property. So they only need to put down 5% um, of the uh, for the deposit so that's really good and we've um, reached our allocation now on help to buy and all the help to buy uh, units have been sold um, also really important to have a good solicitor uh, that's going to work fast and it's going to be proactive and our solicitor we pay him uh, 750 pounds per unit now a top tip for you when working with your solicitors do not pay an hourly rate because your bill will go through the roof secure and negotiate a price per unit uh, so we pay them price per unit uh, we pay an additional hundred pounds if it's helped to buy because there's a lot more paperwork involved and that way we know exactly uh, where we stand so uh, marketing is really important Having a good solicitor is important. Having help to buy is an absolute must because it's really gonna help you uh, sell the units a lot quicker. Um, we also done a deal with one of the houses, I think it's the house I'm standing in now, where to get the sale, uh, we agreed to cover the stamp duty of the property. So there's things that you can do to try and get sales over the line uh, a lot quicker. Because remember, the quicker you sell, the quicker the money's gonna come into the bank account, you can then pay back the development funders, you can then pay back the investor, and then you are gonna be left with this big pot of cash 
that you can then split uh, between you and the joint venture partner. Uh, the profit on this deal is going to be in the region of about 350 to 400,000 pounds. Uh, when we first started the scheme, we were looking at about half a million pound profit, uh, but we've had um, some issues on the scheme. So look, not everything always goes according to plan, but I'm sure you would be happy with 300 and 350 to 400,000 pound profit on a scheme that has only taken 52 weeks to build. And imagine uh, what that's going to do for you and your family. Now, that 400000 is not all of our money. We need to obviously share that with an investor. But if I then look at return on time employed, I've only been on site maybe once a month for the last year. I've not had major involvement. We've had the power team doing all the work for us. So actually, if you look at return on time employed, uh, the, 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 my hourly rate, for example, on this goes into the thousands and thousands and thousands of pounds. And what we will now do is we'll use these profits to reinvest into other uh, deals and ultimately we'll continue uh, to build um, an asset-backed business. Uh, where possible, we always like to keep stuff in this situation, we are selling, uh, and that was simply a decision made by the investor. But hey ho, it means we sell the units. Okay, so that has now brought us to the end of this blog. Um, I really hope that you've enjoyed um, the videos uh, talking you through our property freedom formula, the seven step system. Step one is mindset, step two is funding, step three is site finding, step four is the appraisal, step five is planning, step six is construction, and step seven is the exit. Uh, we all have to start somewhere as developers. If we can do this type of stuff, then you can definitely do it. Uh, we really hope that this has opened your minds to the possibilities of what's uh, available for you and how in just one deal you can change your life forever and you can really start living the life of your dreams that you deserve and you desire. Uh, we love business, we love property, we love to work with people like yourself. So the question is, what is holding you back? Okay, the question is, what do you need to do to achieve financial freedom? And all you have to do right here, right now, is make a decision that you're going to get into property, you're going to scale and systemize your business, and you're going to start moving forward and creating a legacy for your children, your children's children, and be remembered for something really positive. I hope you found the blog really useful. Stay tuned for more action, and I'll see you on the other side. Thanks very much.